Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ida, and welcome back to my channel. So today I've partnered up with Better Length Hair to show you guys how I created this beautiful, beautiful hairstyle using their clip in hair extensions, which is the Kinky Curly Afro texture. And it's an 18 inches. All the details will be in the description box below. I did co-wash the hair and let it air dry overnight and I left a little bit of leave-in conditioner into the hair, not too, too much. And so I am starting off with a really old wash and go and I'm gonna put some water into my hair just to kind of reactivate the products and to be able to kind of manipulate and move my hair around. And I'm gonna section my hair and I always use like a small section first at the bottom and then I go ahead and find the length that matches that section and then clip them into my hair and it's easy as that. I'm just gonna go row by row. But when I put this piece into my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and wet the piece a little bit and then add in some foaming mousse. And I find that foaming mousse works the best with these type of textures because for me, I like volume, so I don't wanna weigh the hair down, but I, I'm sure you can use whatever product you'd like when it comes to how you wanna style your hair. And then when it comes to my own hair, because it's more coarse in texture, I'm gonna use a stronger holding gel, which is my favorite one is the Extreme Wet Line Gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try not to get like the actual uh, extension. I'm just gonna kind of place it on my own hair. And so I feel like with these two different products, it's going to combine both textures together and making sure that it looks as natural as possible and it's blending as much as possible. So basically, yeah, I'm gonna go row by row. I don't wanna use too, too thick of a section because I wanna make sure that you know, everything is blended. And then I find the pieces that match that section. So this bundle comes with so many different sections so that you're gonna have enough pieces for your whole entire head. So basically I take a section of my own hair and then I wet it, put a little bit of gel, and then I take a section of the clip-in extensions, wet that, put a little bit of foaming mousse, and then repeat the process. And so I think altogether I had about like five different sections on my head. And there's actually several different ways, you guys, to put these clip-ins in. I've also tried using them when my hair was fully dry and I didn't use any water or anything like that. It works just as well. I wanted to try something different this time around. And I prefer, to be honest, I think I prefer this way. I do feel like it blends in a lot better. It is a much longer process, I would say, because it does take a really long time to dry, especially with the clip-ins in your hair. I actually was able to sleep in these clip-ins for a few days, but I will advise not to do it for a long period of time because um, your hair will kind of mat a little bit in the roots, is what I experienced, because I wasn't really properly maintaining the moisture in my roots, and so, Definitely don't recommend that, but it's super, super easy to put in your hair. It's super natural, especially for those that want a wash and go that's longer or thicker, but still looks natural. And then there's also other ways where you can actually braid your own hair down and then put the clips on top of those braids. So I personally like leaving my own hair out because I personally think it looks more natural and I like the more full look. And I always make sure to leave a really small amount of my own hair out on the sides to make sure that my hairstyle looks as natural as possible. But you don't wanna leave too much out because it's gonna make the blending of the clip-in extensions with your own hair much harder. And then you're gonna to have to cut in more layers or anything like that. So just leave a little bit out so that it looks like it's your own hair, but um, not too much. So that's kind of like, I feel like the, the trick when it comes to blending in clip -it extensions, you wanna make sure you're using the right amount of your own hair combined with the right amount of clip -it extensions so that it blends um, very well and it's easy to do and it looks super natural. And so I think it's gonna just be a lot of trial and error and practice because I've done this so many times and the more I do it, the more natural it looks. So it's really just trial and error, but I would love to know in the comments below, what are your guys' tips and tricks on blending in your guys' clip and extensions? What do you guys do? And I can't wait to try different hairstyles with these clip and extensions like ponytails and buns and all that. I really, really like the way these clip-ins look like. They're super natural, they look natural and they're very easy to maintain, you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the sections that I do, and then I'm gonna come back with the final results. And when you get to the top part of your hair, you have to 
you know, kind of make sure you know which part you want to do because it all it's all going to depend on how you're going to place these clip-ins. So initially, I wanted a middle part because I usually don't wear that hairstyle and I kind of wanted to see what it would look like. But I did eventually change it into a side part. So all you got to do is just kind of move in, move the clips around so that you don't you don't show too much of your own hair kind of thing. And so I did that part off camera. After I put all the pieces into my hair, I use a diffuser to help with the drying process, but I did dry my hair overnight. And then I did add a little bit of layers just to kind of make sure everything blended naturally. And plus I like a lot of volume. And so I used all the pieces except for one small little piece. So this is the final result, you guys. Look how beautiful my hair looks. This is probably one of the best hairstyles I've ever achieved, especially with clip and extensions. Uh, look how natural it looks and like there's so much body and movement and shine and I don't know it just looks super natural which I love and because I have so much shrinkage it's really nice to be able to have the option to experience longer wash and goes I do feel like this is a really good way to get the length and the volume so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about this hairstyle have you guys ever tried better length and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye